in this trial, particular trial, we've got a, a longer season uh, winter wheat, uh, a longer season main, main spring wheat, and two medium season, probably uh, classed as elite, elite varieties. Um, over those varieties, we then impose four, um, different, different seeding um, treatments. So we're looking at 50, 100, 200, and 300 seeds per metre squared as, as treatments. Um, and then to follow that on, we've also got four different nitrogen regimes that go over those. Uh, so we're looking at uh, zero nitrogen applied, 50 of nitrogen applied at seeding, 100 of nitrogen applied at seeding, this is elemental nitrogen, um, and 100 kilos of nitrogen applied at growth stage 31. The purpose of this is to look at how varieties react over those different times of sowing and, and how we can actually manipulate those plants or varieties to, to achieve optimal yields at those particular times of sowing. A lot of the trends have been fairly consistent with time, um, particularly with the varieties that grow a lot of biomass early. Um, we've found consistently that these, those particular varieties respond heavily to the later nitrogen applications and we feel that it's, it's primarily due to the, the plant growing all that um, non-productive biomass early in the season and not, not having enough um, water to fill the grain later on. Another key finding too is, is that we've found that um, sowing early doesn't always mean that you get clobbered with frost. In uh, two years that I can think of, we've, the first time of sowing has actually finished and filled grain before the frost event. So the second time of sowing has been the one that's been belted by frost. The, the final yield of, of higher yielding cereals at the, at the early time of sowing probably far outweighs the risk of, of frost. Another one of the interesting findings we've found out of this project is that seeding density, particularly in the early sown plots, really doesn't matter what you sow it at, even down to 50 seeds per metre squared. From our work, we've actually found that, that uh, 50 seeds per metre squared, or around about 20 kilos to the hectare of, of wheat, is more than adequate to meet 100% um, of your yield potential. What we've found consistently with the later times of sowing is, well, firstly, the, the management strategies that you can employ on, the, on these um, on, the, on the different varieties as you get later in the season, um, they really don't have as, as market effect as what they do sowing early in the season. Um, the other one is that they heavily favour upfront nitrogen treatments and also the, the lower seeding density, so once you're talking 50 and 100 seeds per metre squared, really start to drop off in terms of yield um, and primarily because the, the plant's just unable to compensate in terms of tiller number and, and uh, head number. Certain varieties perform better at certain times of sowing. Uh, an example of that is, is the winter wheat. wheat. Sown early, a uh, fantastic performer. Um, could not commonly utilised in paddocks, but really does yield exceptionally well at those early times of seeding. Take it to the other end of the year, um, totally different story. Really, really struggles to, um, to make, make the most of the, the season. Earlier varieties, uh, once again, they may perform really well at the later time of seeding because all, all of their um, developments compressed into a, a shorter period of time. You take those varieties out to the early time of seeding, they really don't, don't make the most of the longer extended season that we tend to have. One variety probably doesn't suit a whole farm. You, you need to have two or three varieties really to make the most of the season that you get chucked at you each year.